back to another video and today we're here with Ellie. <laughs> Ellie. That's my sister and we promised to do mukbang so here we go. We are eating sushi today. Um, <laughs> and it's a, a mukbang with a Q&A because we're like we also need to talk a little. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Now, up. Yeah. So, um, maybe we first tell them what we ordered. Yeah, I really don't know how to pronounce it, or. Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are fried shrimps. <laughs> <laughs> and I got some kitjes. <laughs> like pussies. I call them pussies. Cunties. These are like a sort of. Beans? Oh, eat a mama bone. Eat a mama beans. 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 In a sack. In a sack. And then we got some chicken sushi, some paling, pill, bill, I don't know anymore. Fish sushi. And then we got some shrimp sushi, we got egg, some sushi egg sushi, salmon sushi. Which is. And that's it. So, I guess we'll just start with eating because I'm super hungry. I'm also super hungry. I gotta open this. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> well, well, this is weird. You just even <laughs> talk or something. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. I'm sorry, mate. Mm. Oh. This is very nice. Mm. This is good food. Man, I'm okay. so hungry. So, I also asked you to give us some questions that we could answer during this video and there were a lot of responses but yeah. a lot a lot so we're gonna also answer some of those we're gonna start off with how many years are we apart because i think that's just a minor question that we can answer real quick well we're four years apart four yeah like i'm 18 <laughs> and she's 22 <laughs> mom don't laugh at us my mom is behind the camera just laughing. Yeah. <laughs> just making fun of us. Yeah. I'm also awkward. I'm sorry. Well, four years. That's what we're apart. Yeah. Mm, and do we like those years apart? I like those years apart. Mm -hmm, me it's too. a perfect year. No. It's a perfect amount of years to be yeah. apart. Like, it's not too close, but it's not too far away. Yeah. So we're friends, but we're not like... Yeah, and we weren't in like puberty together. Yeah, that's what. So realized. I guess that's also nice because I think when you're super close to each other and you go into puberty at the same time, then you only fight and argue and well, whatever. And now we don't have that because, well, it's perfect age. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect age. So, but getting to the fighting part, we also got a lot of questions of you guys if we fight. Mm, and if we argue and stuff because everyone was like it doesn't seem so well bitch obviously we do <laughs> we do and i think every and that's healthy yeah it's every healthy sibling sisters brothers do that but it's also like over real quick like Boom. real quick no and it's not like that we fight about everything is more just about stupid stuff <laughs> like little arguments yeah yeah, just nonsense. Mm. Definitely nonsense. And then, like two seconds later, we are doing dramatic duets together. Yeah, in the car. And seeing a mama mia. Yeah. So then we're fine. Absolutely fine. So when you fight with your brother or sister, it's or natural. Siblings, it's yeah. natural. If you don't do that, it's it's weird. It's weird, and something's wrong. Yeah, definitely. Like if you don't fight, you're not very very close or something. I guess. Yeah, because you don't care, maybe. Yeah, just like me. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And if you care, you really get uh, like involved in each other's personal stuff, and yeah. you just also like fight about that, you know, like positive upbuilding, fighting. <laughs> yeah, bonding, fights. bonding, fighting. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we made that a thing now. Okay, so next question. Dip, dip, dip. Mm. Do we tell each other everything? Oh me! <laughs> oh mercy! Heck <laughs> 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 mercy! she's falling apart! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, come on, Ellie, you got this. Oh, it's gonna get me Oh, well, just. <laughs> Ja, jij hebt altijd met kinderstokjes 
ook natuurlijk. Dus het gaat ook helemaal niet. Nee. Oh, wait, English. Ja. Ah! Like it's really difficult to eat with loose stickies. <laughs> I need some children's stickies. Yeah, she always eats with children's sticks. Like, so they're like, like this. They're attached and they're like boop boop. That's much easier. Thank you. Thank you, mom. Jesus. Well, that was the first children <laughs> we had in this video. But what was the question over? Um, do we tell each other everything? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And there, the sometimes question was, it's maybe a little oversharing, but yeah, you know, no, it doesn't but, even matter. No, we are like, yeah, we we share everything together. And she oh, was like, rice. the question was like, alles, alles, like everything, everything, and yeah, definitely. Alles, alles. No. no, she's like, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I mean, yeah, one more you saying. Yeah, I don't really know what I was gonna say. It was just like, I just want to say something, but I don't know what to say. So here I am eating my sushi. Mom, are you okay? The sushi is like coming out of her mouth. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> Go. Shut the door. Eat it. Chew it, mom. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Mom. <laughs> so disgusting. You can't do it, mom. Mate, this is so awkward. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we so, tell each other everything. We are basically like best friends. Yeah. We're basically best friends. We are best friends. Yeah, we are best friends. But <coughs> we are more than best friends. That's yeah. what I mean. We're sisters. <laughs> We're sister BFFs. Literally. Okay. Mm, so coming to that. Um, I think the question, what's the best thing about having a sister? And like someone you can no, sorry. Each other as sisters. <laughs> You're so quick to answer, girl. I'm sorry, but I just I don't know. Okay, yeah, but answer it. Hmm. It's just so nice to have someone you can tell everything uh, to, and someone who always helps you out with everything, and it's just very nice. Well, uh, um, I know it's just a special bond, man. I, I can't think, explain it. I think it's yeah, it's a really hard question because you feel a lot of emotions towards each other, but it's hard to explain and it's hard to really say like okay. This is like the best thing because it's more of an emotion and like a feeling towards one another. <laughs> <laughs> I right? would give my life for her. I definitely. Um, yeah. We have been through so much together. It doesn't make our bond even stronger. Yeah. And it's like I can always rely on her and she can always rely on me. And um, we can like we, you know, you go through the same things because you have like the same family and you know stuff happens. But still, we can make each other laugh so hard and have so much fun and just forget about those things for yeah. a minute. Yeah. And then you know? maybe that's even the best part. Yeah, that's just, just laughing with each other. And, and we have the fun. same fucking sense of humor and that it's very people funny don't because get. We have like a sort of special sister humor. Like only we can laugh about it and we can we can joke yeah. about it. Everyone's like, "What the fuck?" And we're like, uh. so "People don't get the no, kind of humor we have." That's so funny. Or like, and it makes it even funnier if other people don't laugh at it and just look at us mm -hmm. like we're some weird alien species or something. Yeah, that's super funny. So yeah, I think having a sister is great. Yeah, seriously great. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> and we also had a question: What are our flirting skills like? <laughs> Don't um, even start <laughs> That's not especially about a bond, but I just thought it was a super funny question because we are both very, very bad at flirting. No. We just, we can. And I just want you to explain a situation you have when you go on a date with a boy <laughs> <laughs> or just a date in general and because it's very funny. Well, if I go on a date, I usually <laughs> do this stupid thing. No, it's not stupid. It's stupid. No. I wear something very big. <laughs> Like this jacket that's like oversized to the max and green and like super in the picture and everyone is like, where, why are you wearing a green jacket and it's like huge? Um, I just want to like let boys or girls see that I'm very tough and I'm not just a silly little girl and but if I look back it's like, Ellie, I was just overproving with big jackets and yeah, like big oversized. Out. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm tough bitch and being tough. Yeah, yeah. and why, why? And it's also always like, 
um, when I want to open a bottle and like a boy's like, oh, maybe you, <laughs> yeah. maybe you can't and shall I open I it? Know. And then I'm like, no bitch, I can't. And I was like, I can open it myself, so leave. And We are very feminist, you know? Yeah, and that's a trouble in dating. Also, when I flirt, I insult people. <laughs> That is seriously my thing. Like, I will joke around, but I have, like, this dark sense of humor, so I will <laughs> actually insult you, but yeah. I think it's funny because I don't, like, she doesn't mean, mean it, it in no. a personal way or something, but then <laughs> the person's always like, <laughs> okay, fine, I'm going home, bye, you know? Yeah. <laughs> always do that. So, we are very bad at flirting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just... <laughs> food in your mouth so but just dates, that was a but dates are just awkward in general not true if you go on a date first of all what are you gonna eat like should you eat oh <laughs> what do you now spirit the boys <laughs> wait what for this mom <laughs> Lou you can't eat them <laughs> yeah, yeah see that's the track? problem with sushi is too big and it's too very big, yeah. Clumsy and just spit all the rice out and no. But like, what are you gonna eat? It's hard. And if you eat pasta, it's just your entire face is covered with pasta, so it's hard. It's hard to make a decision, mate. No, yeah. I know. But lot of people do this. It shouldn't feel awkward if it's right and if your connection oh. is true. You don't feel awkward with each other, and yeah. that's like the meaning of dating and finding out. So if you do feel awkward, it's not right. Dating advice from Ali. Peace. Okay. Mm. <coughs> can I Are try we? Can I try one of those? Yeah, sure. If this is gonna be very disgusting, go for it, honey. <laughs> My <laughs> <laughs> burping. You go, honey. Do you have to eat this in one bite or like two bites? You can. You can decide yourself. Do one. Two. Three. Oh, huh? this is hard. And you like it? Mm -hmm. I need another bite. It's nice, right? But <clears throat> yeah, but it's like a taste you have to get used to. I think it's not heavenly, like no, oh, but it's just like oh. it is heavenly. What are you saying? Yeah, like. Mm. Mm. Like. But the question was, are we competitive? <laughs> yeah, we definitely are. <coughs> yeah. yeah, I also think we are, but not necessarily in everything. No. And what things are we competitive? Well, just things that we, we, we are both good at, maybe. Like... What? <laughs> My mom was like... What's that me, mom? Suck my home. No, no. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I guess we are we are competitive at things that we both do well. You Such know as? what I mean? As in dancing. No, I don't feel competitive vibe towards you with that. No, but I mean, not not necessarily competitive, but... Like, more like if someone compliments, compliments me, for example, on... Oh, you did so great on stage, oh, and they yeah, don't say okay. anything to you. You're like, bitch, I was great too. And yeah. if that's the other way but around, if people compliment you, I'm also yeah. like, didn't you see me? You know? It's more like we're both shining and not just. Yeah, her. true. But we are just first, really for equality. The first thing I thought when you said like, are you competitive? I thought about <coughs> little games like running up the stairs and see who's there first. <laughs> mm, <laughs> like, yeah, that was the first true. thing that popped in my mind. Like stupid competitive stuff like that. But further on, it's more that. <coughs> It's not that we're like competitive in if you're both good at doing something. It's like no, you can do this and I can. Like we don't do that, or I can dance better than you, or well, towards one another. Hard. It's more like with compliments. Compliments mm -hmm. just sad that if someone compliments you, you they don't compliment me on the same thing. <laughs> like that's just. Wow. <laughs> but that's not necessarily very competitive feeling. Or no, something. it's not competitive. It's more like. Um, like something, someone you look up to, like. Yeah. But that's not necessarily competitive. It's more just 
having a, having an example for yourself and like oh she she does it so great and maybe I can do it the same way or maybe I can learn from her like it's yeah. more not for me towards you it's more like that with pictures and drawings more like I really yeah. val value your opinion that's oh babe I value yours yeah but that's not competitive that's just value yeah, yeah that's just that's something yeah. else so well then we're not really competitive actually yeah Nee. 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 Because we are just really about like letting each other in each other's values and worth and no. We're helping supporting each other. each other. Yeah. And that's also here. Um with this was a very shocking question actually to me that someone asked me, um Are you jealous of the skinny sister? And then I was like, Whoa, this is something else because she also put on in the question that this was her own personal experience with her sister, I guess. Um, but no, I don't have that because we are just our own individuals and we are both beautiful people. And I think this is the definition of body positivity and no. uh, just accepting people the way they are. You know, I am fat and she is not. And we are both shiny and thriving. And, you know, that's the whole point of body positivity well, that you can just yeah. be in your own body and feel happy about it and also support others in their body and not being jealous or or whatever towards the people that look different than you. There was a time in which I really felt guilty that I wasn't fat. big and fat. Like, I was like, she gets all the trouble and, well, I don't because, well, I did have other body type and I, I was like, damn, so sad that I can't uh, be with her in the same struggle and support her the way as in... As you want to. Yeah, as I want to. But then she was like, no, you don't have to feel guilty that you're not fat. So I, when I heard this question, that entire emotion really popped up again. And I was like, damn, wait, you know, but it doesn't matter because body positivity is about loving all body types. You know, if you're skinny... Uh, big, tall, really tiny, you know, it's about everybody. Mm. Yeah, and there was and a time... time. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. She didn't really knew where to fit in or something. Because, you know, I was representing the facts and the magazine were representing like the size zeros. And she felt like, well, who's representing me? Because I'm not super, super skinny, but I'm also not fat. I'm just regular, you know? <laughs> yeah, but curvy, but like, regular. You know what like I mean? I have a belly, but it's not. And an ass, but it's and but yeah, but it's just normal. I don't know. It's yeah, normal. It's, your so, also normal, but I mean, like, I don't have the extreme of both sides. Like, it's I'm like not in extreme. the middle. Yeah, and right, these days it's like curvy. So yeah, so she was really confused. Like she was like, I don't feel like I fit on into your yeah. community, and I don't feel like I fit in into the magazine's community. So where the fuck am I? Yeah. <clears throat> and I could really understand that struggle, so... No, that was really hard. Yeah, and then we were like, you fit into my community because my community is about body positivity in all bodies. So, you know, just accept that fact yeah. and then look for people that look like you online. Yeah. So that actually went well, yeah. right? Yeah, and I also discussed with, like, a lot of yesterday about discretion. I was thinking about it and I thought, I think that jealousy is, well, for me, it's more of a struggle for the little sister towards the big sister. Like, she's your example. She is your person to go to and she's the one that sort of stands above you with age and um well with adultery and that sort of stuff so i think that jealousy easily comes to the little sister instead of the big yeah. sister like i now well recently i have i also have a little sister and you notice that she looks up, looks to, up to me and uh is more jealous of me than i am of her and that ju that's just because you look up to that person and that person is like very important to you so i think that that's more yeah it would common. have been different if i was a skinny one and you were the fat yeah. one for example don't really know how to explain it but it's yeah hard. no but i think people understand okay, and if i was if i was fat and you were skinny then yeah. that would maybe been a problem now i don't think really a problem no, but, but I, I i think it would have been different yeah you know because there was also a question if we grew up in like a body positive home and i don't think that when i was born that that was really a term that that was really no. something you know so as i explained in my other video my parents did their best and they tried to you know um just help me in the way that doctors told them how to 
but I also didn't grow up in a home where I had to hate my body. That's totally not the case. But as I grew up, I was just like, how do I want to live my life, etc., etc. And I think that I also learned you in your puberty and still that you should just love your body for what it is yep. and accept every flaw and curve and well, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, but I think if you grow up in a house where that's not embraced and you are a fat one and your sister's a skinny one, then it can be very difficult yeah. and you can be very jealous. But then just remember to look up people online that represent you and speak to people like me because I always react to my DMs. I always try to interact with you all to like have some comforting words about watch this video and see us. You know, this is a total normal yeah, and glorious situation. In our youth, uh, also wasn't that my body type was like... Um, Praised. Praise. No, no, it was just like totally she's normal. Not. She's normal, oh. but yeah, we were, were, yeah, we were like thinking about eating, and that was also that always really a thing. But it's, it was not that <clears throat> for me. Right. It was like, well, you can eat everything, and mm -hmm. I just had to join, and so that was. I think that was also pretty good. That I, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Mm. What do we like most about each other? <laughs> Shall I go first? Yeah. Oh. My sister is very funny. Well, first of all, she makes me laugh like not a lot of people make me laugh. Like I can literally roll over the ground with tears <laughs> in my eyes <laughs> and just pain in my belly because i'm laughing so hard about her um i think she's beautiful wow. she's just a beautiful human being she's strong as hell um and i just love her with all my heart and i just get emotional oh, wow. it. yeah and she supports me with my body and also with my goals you know and she's always behind me and always. she's never ever told me that it I don't know that I was doing the wrong thing or something and, and she never minds taking a picture or being on this fucking video with me and I just really appreciate you and oh. I just never want to lose you ever in my life. Oh, what's going on with your shoe? Oh, yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, that's really the best thing about having a sister, you always support each other and what I like most about you is you're just always there for me, you know? You're the one and only person always has been there for me. When times were rough and times were times sucked and I really was struggling with myself and with my emotions and she was the one the shoulder to cry on, the person who could, who could make me laugh and yo, if you were there I was laying in a ditch and crying myself every <laughs> night. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really couldn't have done things without you. I'm so happy to have you in my life. Me neither with you without you. I'm so happy to have you. You're so beautiful and I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> oh, my like, all these followers love you and this is amazing. Oh, okay. Well, that was the emotional part uh, of this video. Why? Jesus. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've been, just been through a lot less years and now we're like getting on our feet and yeah. and she's she is following her heart and she's also going into art and that makes me also so proud you know and she's following her heart and just doing what she wants to do yeah i'm so proud of us like yeah. we're both living our best lives we're both thinking about ourselves and what we want and what makes us happy and not like oh we gotta please uh yeah. that one and gotta please yeah. her or him you know and especially for, for example with this youtube you just thought like bitch i'm not gonna edit shit because they have to <laughs> see what what's really yeah. going on and not just it, it doesn't have to be picture perfect because no. you and we are not picture perfect no. so people just gotta see the real us and the real you yeah and that's awesome so i'm really proud yes, of you to take to take that step and just be like fuck y'all i'm just gonna do this <laughs> i don't know if I'm, I'm allowed to say this on youtube but it's fine i guess i hope so i i've cursed in all my videos so oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, Intense. Well, then I think... Whoa, we it's already like 25 minutes, yeah, bitch. It goes fast. Okay, so last question. I think we had them all. Are our personalities alike? I think that's the last one. What's the best thing about having learning mm. skills? Yeah, yeah, this is the last one. No. There were a lot of questions, so we just made like a selection because otherwise this video would have so taken like no. 500 hours. 
our personalities are like i think in some ways definitely but in some ways like definitely not right so <laughs> 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 don't the moon. it's hard to say like in what parts we are like and what parts we are not yeah, because you grow up with the same i guess values and and morals or something yeah so we are both like we can deal with uh, injustice is that how you call yeah. it yeah yeah like we we both like love equality and that everyone should be treated the same we're like that. both very uh big feminists yeah and we just don't like lying like absolutely we not. absolutely don't like lying and like our morals and values are the same as in our thoughts about society and what it should be and what it <laughs> What everybody should do, <laughs> you know, and I think that's uh, really nice, you know, to have the same opinion about society and about life here in the Netherlands, but also life in the entire fucking world. Yeah. So you have something to really, yeah, we can really talk about that and discuss our opinions, and so that's really nice. Yeah. Mm. Third one. At first, I always thought that I was a smart one. On. And she was like the creative one because she was doing um, the movie coding in what I am, and I was like studying law and <laughs> on a university. But that sucked balls, like <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so I know that entire vision of the difference between the, <laughs> like, <laughs> of the difference that I always had in mind just <laughs> flushed away in the fucking toilet. <laughs> So now I'm like, um, what are our differences? Like we're both creative, we both love dancing. Mm. Actually, we are very alike. Yeah, but it's more just like in our way of creating, we're different, and in a way of publishing our opinion and that sort of stuff, and way of communicating with other people. That's just a little different, but you know. Yeah, but also if I'm like thinking about it, you're still four years younger than me, so also yeah. like in communication and uh, um, communicating your your voice, like but I what? didn't. <laughs> like I didn't do this when I was 18 you know and I also didn't interact with people the way I do well like of course in, in a way but you're still younger when you're 18 and yeah. you do things differently so I think we are actually very much alike we only don't look do you guys think we look alike nay well there are a lot of people who are like oh my god no. you look alike and we're always like no, no. I don't really think so like First of all, I'm like a white bitch. <laughs> Look at my skin tone. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fucking right. <laughs> it's like, if you put this piece of paper next to me, it's the fucking oh same. <laughs> or I'm red as a fucking tomato, and that's even worse. But I am just super red. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, don't you like a little ACMR? Nee. <laughs> wow, y'all. I have one more thing here. Yo, this is literally almost 30 minutes, this video. Like Thanks. 28. That's a long time. Wow. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you were getting hungry off of this video. Yeah. Because we... This was nice. I'm, no. I'm also not over full. No. Because we mostly overstep it when we order no. food. Like, I must tell you, I was very nervous to shoot this video. I was like, no, I can't, and I'm gonna be so red, and I'm gonna be so nervous, but it's like, but chilling here, and yeah. eating, and talking Did with you like sister, it? And talking with you guys. Yeah. It's nice. Did you like it? Yeah, I like Good. it. Good. Because you also said, like, oh my god, do a mukbang with, like, Dutch food and Dutch snacks, so that's literally, like, the next mukbang that I will make will be with that. I, I think that's cool and funny. Um, and, well, there were also vegan snacks. I'm sorry for the vegan people that this wasn't vegan. No, no. But all. next time, we'll definitely also do something like that. There was a lot of McDonald's in it. Always in for McDonald's. Um, so, yeah, don't forget Capsalon. to like. Capsalon. Capsalon Zoe Zoe. <laughs> Shout out to Denise. And, um, <laughs> well, like, subscribe. Don't forget to push the notification button if you want to be notified with a new video. Um, and, yeah. This was Ellie, my amazing sister, and she will be in more videos. Oh. oh. So <laughs> bye everyone! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the video stopped, so I just I'm gonna edit it together. So <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, bye. Thanks for watching.
watching and